Question three, first three marker of the paper. The leaves of the rhubarb plant are considered poisonous because they contain high levels of oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is a white, water-soluble solid. It's a dicarboxylic acid that has the structural formula given below. Okay. Oxalic acid reacts with bases to form salts. It can also be oxidised by strong oxidising agents to form carbon dioxide gas. Oxidation equation given below. Using your knowledge of chemistry, comment on how the mass of oxalic acid in a, rub in a rhubarb leaf could be determined. Okay. Right, so you have two ways you could do this from the information they've given. They've said it reacts with bases to form salt. So given that, you could say that you could, you'd have to work out your equations, but you could do um, your oxalic plus a base to get the salt. You could then dry weigh and from that back calculate your moles and that could then give you mass. Okay, so you could do that, be reasonable. Um, you could also, given what's been given here, it says it can also be oxidised by strong oxidising agents to form carbon dioxide gas and then it gives you the equation here. I think this one's quite a reasonable one to do as well. So what you would do is you could either oxidise and look at loss in mass and from that you could then calculate your moles of carbon dioxide okay or you could do collection using gas syringe or similar and that also from volume you could work out your moles of carbon dioxide you've got a chemical equation there which says that for every mole of carbon dioxide you have half a mole of your oxalic because it's a one to two um, so you would do ratio, and that would get you your moles of oxalic, and then you could go mass. Two different ways. Um, yeah, it's, it's not the nicest one, but if you're careful, follow it through nicely, show that you understand that we're looking at effectively two different, potentially two different ways that you could do it. Uh, one is a, an analysis back the way from a salt and the other one is using your ratio from your carbon dioxide you, you can pick up marks here okay